Hello guys, welcome to Daily Tech. Usually, when I multitask or want to open an app in a multi window, I will go into the recent menu and then tap on the app icon to open the app in pop up mode or split mode. But as you can see, the moment I jump into my recent menu, the app goes flying to the right hand side, which means I have to pull it back to the middle before I tap on the icon to give me those options which I am looking for. And it does get pretty annoying if you multitask frequently. To resolve this issue, what you will need to do would be to go into your good luck app and how do you get your good luck app through the galaxy app store so jump into your galaxy app store search for your good luck app and once you find your good luck app you need to download the home up app and once in the home up app go to your task changer and tap on center the running app and now every time you open the recent menu any app that was currently running stays in the middle while you're in your home up app there are quite a few changes you can make to your home screen you can change your home screen grid which is currently at 5x5 five five, to whichever options you have available to you here. Normally in your app screen menu, you are unable to loop the pages so when you get to the end of the app page, you would need to go back the other way. However, turning on the loop pages will allow you to loop the pages on your app menu. If your current folder setup has gotten boring, you now have the ability to change that by using the home up app. When you tap on folder and then tap on pop-up folder, you're able to edit quite a few things about your folder, such as the font color. You're able to change it between white and black. Your background color, quite a few variations you could use. You could increase and decrease the background transparency of that folder, and you can change the background corners. Once set up, toggle it on, and you now have a pop-up folder with your choice of colors and design. Nova Launcher has been pretty decent, and one of the reasons why people love Nova Launcher apart from the deep level of customization and allowing you to do certain things your default launcher would not allow you to do is this ability to back up your design layout so next time if there are a few changes you've made and you want to return to that previous layout you can restore it you can now do this to your current launcher by tapping on backup and restore it allows you to back up your layout immediately every one hour or every day When sharing an item for ease, your phone pulls up a list of contacts that you've recently been in touch with via the various messaging apps. But if you're in a setting where your phone is in view to quite a few people, for example myself recording this video, so I don't have to blow the video every time a contact shows up on the screen, I can go into Share Manager, tap on Show Direct Share and then turn off Show Contacts when sharing content. Tax Changer allows you to change the layout of the open apps in your recent menu. These are quite a few options available to you to choose between, so take a look. The other options out here are the mini mode, which is your list layout, but at a reduced height for an easier one-handed experience. The moment you turn on Tax Changer, you get another multitasking tool, which when pressed, moves the current app, which you're currently viewing, into a split mode, allowing you to add another app. So you now have two apps currently running side by side. These are the few features that should improve your mobile experience. So be on the lookout for One UI 5.1 that will come with the S23 series. There are going to be some interesting changes so subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be notified when they drop if you've enjoyed this content smash the like button and i'll catch you in the next one